Good morning, YouTube. Cranky Stacker here. First of all, let me start this out for all my OCD friends. <laughs> yeah, the studio. Mm-hmm. OCD fellas, gals, look it. I could use a little help, clearly. But that's all right. Hey, the reason I wanted to do this video this morning uh, basically was to... Uh, let everybody know today's the day um you know i've been saying i wanted to do some more on the exit strategy uh um as for selling your silver if you if you have a need or whatever so um i'm i'm uh i've got an appointment today at uh at 115 and i am going to coin husker bullion uh, Dave has graciously accepted my uh, request to do a video. I'm going to take some um, some well-recognized bullion rounds, some buffaloes. I want to take some bars um, and some numismatic. I think it's numismatic. Anyway, some mint coins. I've got some... Um, I've got some uh, Noah's Arcs and some of my Phillies. They're, I, I, I love these things. Absolutely love them. I love all of these things. But um, I, it's been quite a process, and all the follow-up video obviously will uh, explain some things to everybody. But I wanted everybody to know that today's the day. Watch later on this afternoon, probably tomorrow by the time I edit and do things like that. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know I'm not such a big high-tech person that I'm very good at editing. I uh, rarely ever do it. But if you see a face reveal in this video that's coming up with my gold and silver transactions with Coinhusker Bullion, close your eyes until it's over. And then, you know... We'll go on from there. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. I love it. So, this is uh, going to be the beginning of it. Um, I also have a follow-up on some offers that I've been given on some of the vintage pieces that I am, am selling. Um, I'll, I'll fill you in a little bit on the process of, of selling that and uh, how that has gone. Uh, kind of what I've encountered, what you might expect when you um when you do uh expect to uh have an exit strategy a plan a plan b and or um how the money goes as far as whether it comes back in whether it does not come back in uh to your expectations um you to my knowledge right now um and especially with the vintage you're not going to get what you paid for it unless it's a really collectible piece. Um, so it, it's been interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get uh, this next video done. I'm excited to get this transaction done today. And um, we'll see. Uh, we'll just see how it all goes. Um, these are beautiful. But that's the uh, point of this video right here right now this morning um y'all gotta be getting a little cranky about everything that's going on so if you if you if you are getting a little cranky about things uh put a one in the comments if you're not put a two in the comments and go back and watch a couple of my rants because uh there's plenty to be cranky about right now not fearful but a little cranky um, and there was a video last night that, uh, that posted some very disturbing things, if it was at all even half true. Uh, it was a Fox News video, um, basically highlighting U.S. cities that, that may be targeted, um, for some, um, negative, aggressive activity. But anyway, that's, that's a, that's a thing for another platform and a thing for another, uh, video, maybe. We'll see. Uh, so, 
Come back for the, the follow-up video. It'll be, uh, it'll be me and Dave from CoinHuskers.com or CoinHuskers Bullion. Super nice guy, and uh, I think you guys will learn a lot. This is going to be good. So, that's it for the cranky one this morning. Uh, stay safe, shoot straight, keep stacking. Stack lots of stuff. Stack the right stuff, y'all. Um, like Nickel says, that's the times we live in. Nickel, I'm going to give you an email, so um, check your emails a little later on today. Thanks so very much. I'm out.